Hey, welcome back. The FBI under fire after a new report indicates the Justice Department has granted immunity to the computer specialist who used the program BleachBit to delete Hillary's emails after they were subpoenaed. This is now the second person in the investigation that is uh, going to receive immunity. Joining me now is former Attorney General and author of True Faith and Allegiance. We'll get to that in a moment. He is Alberto Gonzalez. Sir, nice to see you this morning. Welcome back to the show. Good morning. It's early. <laughs> yeah, it is early. Thank you for getting up with us on this weekend. We appreciate it. This you is an bet. important story, though. This guy using um, using BleachBit, which if you go to their website, BleachBit says BleachBit quickly frees disk space, and tirelessly <clears throat> guards your privacy. It frees cache, deletes cookies, and clears your internet history. Basically, shredding your digital footsteps. Why is this important that he has received immunity? Because uh, the department believes that he has information that may be relevant to. The commission of a crime. Uh, again, there's no pr proof that a crime has been committed here, but uh, I think the department is interested in what this individual may know about what happened here. There's a lot of there's a lot of mystery here in terms of what's happened, and a lot of smoke. And I think the department, I think, is feeling some pressure to make sure they. Um, uh, cross uh, all the T's and dot all the I's in, in connection with this investigation. Why now? I mean, we, we heard James Comey come out, we heard him talk, you know, it seems like this, she's going to walk away, as Donald Trump has been saying, and she, you know, she's unprosecutable. Uh, why now? now? Well, well there, there could be two reasons. One is because something may have, they may now have new information which causes them to, to pursue this, this course of action, or they may be feeling political pressure pressure from the media, in the media, uh, to that perhaps they haven't done a, a thorough job in connection with the investigation. So I don't know why now, but I, again, I, to the extent that, they, that a crime may have been committed, this is probably the right course. I want to talk about your new book on this, the 15th anniversary of 9-11. You've written a book called True Faith and Allegiance, which really discusses the trials and the hard choices um, ahead for this country. Why did you decide to write this book? Well, because I served in the White House uh, during a consequential time in our nation's history, uh, obviously working in the White House on 9-11 and, and uh, being involved in many of the major decisions, controversial decisions on the war on terror. We put in, we put in place a framework, I think, which has served this country very well in, in fighting terrorism. And uh, this continues to remain a very dangerous world. And I just thought that I might have something to contribute with respect to that, uh, that issue. And of course, as you mentioned, you know, waterboarding and the things that came out of uh, everything we experienced on September 11th. You address that in the book as well? You know, I hit all the controversial issues. Uh, I, I didn't want any of the critics to say Gonzalez steered away from it. I, I talk about the application of Geneva Convention, Guantanamo, military commissions, interrogations, because I wanted everyone to understand how hard we worked to try to get it right. Maybe we didn't get it right in every case, but we worked very hard to make sure that whatever, whatever we did was necessary, effective, and lawful. Former U.S. Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez. The new book is called True Faith and Allegiance. It's out now. Sir, great to see you this morning. Up early with us. We appreciate it. You bet. Thanks. You bet. Coming up here on the show, are Democrats taking the black vote for granted? Wait until you hear what they, what they say when asked about Hillary Clinton. 